are still in the land of the living and thought it not robbery to bless the, the Lord this, on this morning. Our teaching today will be entitled, The Holy Spirit's Assignment. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we just give you praise and glory and honor right now. Thank you, God, for just being in the midst of us. Thank you right now for your anointing, oh God. Ah, oh, that makes teaching and preaching easy. Thank you right now for anointing our ears to hear what the Spirit has to say to us on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, uh, when Jesus, before he left this planet Earth, he told the disciples, he says, now, I'm going away, but I'm not going to leave you comfortless. He said, I'm going to send you another comforter that will be with you and be in you. And then when he got to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit back, right? Amen. Now, Luke 11, uh, uh, verse 13 says, If you send for people, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give you the Holy Spirit to those who ask him. Amen. Now, the Holy Spirit's assignment. The Holy Spirit would function in your life many different ways. The Holy Spirit will abide with you forever. John 14 and 16 says, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Wherever you go, whatever you do, God himself will be with you. The Holy Spirit now, another thing, the Holy Spirit will comfort you through challenges and difficulties. In 2 Corinthians 1 and 4, he said, who comforts us in all our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. The Holy Spirit will comfort you when you are going through our challenges and difficulties. And not only that, he'll enable us to be able to minister to and comfort others when they're going through their uh, tribulations and, uh, and uh, challenges and difficulties. The Holy Spirit will be your teacher. He came to teach us. And now like John 14 and 26 says, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. He also remind you of everything the Lord has said. And you know, sometimes I rely on the Holy Spirit because sometimes when I can't find something like this right here and that right there, I the Holy Spirit show me where it does it is Yeah. And see, that's why if we need to. Uh, Ask the Holy Spirit as we be reading the Word of God mm -hmm. to, to show us, give us re revelation on what is being said here. Open up my eyes and my understanding, Holy Spirit, so I can understand what's the revelation. Give me revelation, you know. The Holy Spirit, because he's with us, in us. The Spirit of truth will testify to you of Jesus. Now, John 15 and 26 to 27 says, but when the comforter is come, he says, whom I will send from the, to you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, 
which proceeded from the Father. He shall testify of me, and ye also shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. John 15, 26 and 27. He'll, the Holy Spirit will also help you bear witness of Jesus to others. The Word of God says that after the Holy Ghost uh, Spirit has come upon you, you will have power to witness, to be a witness for me. And it means that the Holy Spirit uh, anoint us with power to a folk receive that we have been with Christ by our actions and our words. And, and most of the time, uh, it ain't about a whole lot of talking. It's, folks are watching you, how you do the, and, and, and how you uh, react, you see. Holy Spirit will give you power if you got something going on in your life that you need to, you, you, you got you need to get a handle on something that's holding you back, a, 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 a stronghold. The Holy Spirit is there to help you, to give you power. You can't live this Christian life without the Holy Spirit in you. And I'm talking about the Holy Spirit baptism of the Holy Spirit upon you. That's why He said, "Ask." He'll give you the Holy Spirit. The baptism. Baptism means to what? Submerge. Mm -hmm. So we need to, you know, we get born again, the Spirit of God comes in us to, to, to put us into the kingdom of God and to change that old nature that we have to the, his new nature. But you ask him for the Holy Spirit upon you to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. Em immerse me, Lord. Fill me with your power. And your anointing so that I can be a witness for you. You know, power. That power that no matter who comes to get you or what, you're going to, that power give you standing. You'll stand up for the right. Oh, glory to God. Yes. You won't renege on Jesus. You know, that, that Holy, Ghost, Holy Ghost power that I'm talking about. Baptized. Submerge me in it, Lord, so that I can be a witness. Yes. And you know, being a witness is not about being flaky. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jesus, I believe mean, when Jesus walked around here on this earth, I mean, he's ordinary. He wants us to be ordinary human beings with the supernatural upon us. Not flaky. And what I call, you know, not flaky. You know, you see some kind of flaky questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that ain't, you know, he talked to winos. If Jesus was walking around here today, he'd be, he, he'd sit and talk to the winos about the kingdom of God. Because why did they call him wine bibber? You see what I'm saying? Them Pharisees did. Well, Jesus said, he said, I come to seek and to save. And then, it, 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 you know, to get next to somebody, you got to kind of, you can't be up, way up there like you way up there. That's right. Anybody who listen to you telling you, boy, you going to hell if you keep right on doing this right here. No. Go ahead. Holy Spirit. Let me share this right here right quick for you. Because the Holy, I thank God for the Holy Ghost power. Now, in my class, oh, this last week, it, this happened in my class. Uh, so I, it, it, uh, I give the girls 30 minutes to like vent, share, get stuff off the mind before we go into the teaching. This girl was telling me, one of them was telling me about how she's on this medication and this. And it puts everybody on medication when they come to prison, it seems like to me. And, uh, but anyway, I said, I asked a question. She said, I hear voices. And so she went to go on and tell about how she hear voices and then she hear, see images and, <coughs> and while she was telling me all that, girl, 
I felt the Holy Ghost rising up in me. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> he told us, I'll give you power over all the power of the enemy. So I, I was on the inside, boy. I was charging up. And then when she finished, I said, do you mind if I pray for you? She said, no, ma'am. So I, I walked on over there, lay hands on me in the name of Jesus. Call that demon out. Mm -hmm. Ask the ministering angels just to uh, provide the necessary help she needs. Yeah. Come on back to my seat and sit down. Mm -hmm. I don't find out if I know that greatest heat is in me. Right. And, and, and that I know he has given me power yes. over all the power of the enemy. Yes. Yes. When I go up there and lay hands on somebody, I ain't got to shout. Mm -hmm. I ain't got to holler. Amen. Go in Jesus' name. Went on to sit back down. We, so we got this, went on to our teaching. Then I go, sometimes I have to get on my soapbox and the girls got to preach a little something. Come on, come on. 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 Come on, well, have, you, have she prayed for you yet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 See, back to Holy Ghost. Yeah. He'll give you power. Mm -hmm. And you ain't got to be the cuckoo. Mm -hmm. Come on, what's your name? <laughs> you ever hear him do that? Jesus. We have done that back in the day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, you know, we get to do that out there. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is get out of my face. <laughs> Lord and mercy. You know, as you grow and mature in Christ, you learn. You learn more. You learn how to. You know, the Holy Spirit will teach you. Yeah. He, he also helped me bear witness of Jesus to others. And that's what I was doing right there, right? Yeah. Now, it's to your advantage that Jesus is in heaven and the Holy Spirit is on earth. Because he said in John 16 and 7, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And he did send the, the comforter uh, 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 in Acts uh, uh, what was it, Acts 2.38? No. But anyway, he said the couple of them. You, try, you know what I'm talking about. They were set up in the upper room waiting on the day of what? Pentecost. There you go. See, Jesus could only be in one place at one time, right? When he walked the earth as a man. Now, through the Spirit, he can be with every believer all the time. So the, the, all of you, you got the Holy Spirit. You see what I'm saying? But well, here's what I'm saying this morning. You got the Holy Ask God to fill you. Mm -hmm. Immerse you in yeah. his spirit, in his love, and in his power. Because yeah. see, I, I hear somebody say, sometimes we just leak, leak, leak out. You know what I'm saying? We, we leak out of his love. You know, but we got to be filled with it. We got to be filled with this Holy Spirit all the time. And then the Holy Spirit will convince, convict, and convince us. Now, in John 16, 18, 11, he says, And when he is come, he will reprove the world of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not on me. Of righteousness because I go to my Father and you see me no more. Of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. Convincing us of our sin, convincing us of God's righteousness, and convincing us of Satan's and our impending judgment describes three things, approaches that the Holy Spirit uses. We do not all require all three in order to be convinced that we need God's grace. The Holy Spirit does not Crush those who just need pride. Some are just more stubborn than others and resist. 
God demonstrates his grace by approaching each of us with a level of conviction necessary for our response. Now, what is saying right here? The Holy Spirit deals with all of us differently. Whenever he convicts and convinces some of us, or when we, you know, out of the way, some he gives pride. Come on, come on. Because some of us are easy to, to get convicted and go and do it. But there's some of us stubborn. You hear what I'm saying? Some of us are stubborn and resist. So he's going to have to do a lot more convincing you that you need God's grace. See, that, and I, I've seen that happen. See, God loves us. We his children. Don't you think that? What, don't we take uh, 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 chastise our children when they get wrong? You know, God is our heavenly father. And see, and, and what comes to my mind, some of y'all, some of y'all don't know about it, but uh, you remember the escapade with Jimmy Swagger? Anybody ever hear tell of Jimmy Swagger? Great event. Yeah, great evangelist. God was dealing with him about some stuff, mm -hmm. but he won't, he talk about everybody else, That's but he right. won't take That's care of right. himself. Exactly. And what you know, the cover got pulled off of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, when he still shot God's yeah. child, but the cover, God, okay, pull the cover off, there he was, come sorting, sorting with what? Prostitute, That's got right. caught. He, and he repenting, and he's doing his ministry now. But I don't care to look at him. You see what I'm saying? Because see, once you do that, you know, I mean, that's my brother. I ain't saying nothing negative about him. But a lot of times you lose your trust, your standing. Yes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. The Spirit of Truth will progressively share Jesus' word with you as you.